2023 Centurion RI-230. Sitting in a charcoal hall and a top deck with a frost white main. Nice classic scheme on this RI-230. Sitting on a tandem axle boatmate trailer. It has the power fold tower, Roswell tower with the Centurion factory Bimini. We also have the new bombshell board racks on here, which have the little hangers on them. Those are really cool, a little easier to use. You have these nice big grab handles to um, pop open the locks to put your boards in and they just look sweet. This boat is equipped with ram fill. So we got the vents on the side. You can see the billet and the backlit ram fill logo, which is sweet on there. Got our backlit Centurion logo on the tower. We did 30% window tint on the windshield. Cool detail on our air intakes up front. Boat has uh, six pop-up cleats around the exterior. Coming around the front, got this huge bow ladder with the uh, handrails, easy to get in and out. Docking lights up here as well. Walking around the other side of the boat. See these just cool details on the front. Little inlays for the docking lights, nice step leading you into the bow. Drop zone tower is the name of that tower, by the way. It was forgetting the name as I was first talking about it. it does have the two-tone accent on there. So you've got the white inlay with the charcoal gray surround and black Chromex Centurion logos on the exterior. Making our way around the back. Gray platform has Quick Surf Pro, silent stinger wave plate on the back here. And there's our ram filled vents um, where we drain the weight out of the boat. Grab handles here on the platform, hop up in the boat a little bit easier. Um, but yeah, let's go ahead and hop in the interior, check it out. As you can see, we have the tan interior with accent vinyl in stone gray and charcoal with white stitching. And then we did the, uh, the white piping on here. So just a nice clean interior. Um, gonna be easy to maintain. Isn't gonna get too hot in the sun. Just looks really good. I really like the tan color with the gray. Pairs really nicely. Um, on the back here, we've got the flip up seating on the sun pad. Get that on both sides. Our flooring, let me clean that a little bit. But uh, we have shark fin over black. It's two layer gator step through the interior. This boat, along with ram fill, is equipped with all available ballast. So we have the bag here. Um, we've got one under each side. I'll open this up. Got the plug and play bag under there. A little bit of storage as well as a storage um, tray under the sun pad. Actually, let me show you the engine. If I can pop this thing out of the way, maybe. There we go. There's our PCM ZZ6. So this comes standard with a six liter. We upgraded it to the 6.2 liter with 450 horsepower. It's a direct injection. Pairs really nicely with the RI-230. It's quiet, it's smooth, and just gives the boat a little nicer feel. I mean, it's already really quiet with that silent stinger plate, uh, but that ZZ6 just operates smoother and quieter than those um, traditional, or the more old school, if you want to call it that multi-port injection engines. Um, stepping down into the interior, we do have a ski pylon. There's a gator step pad leading us down. As you can see, I already have the jam ins for the sliding seat, but we can pick up the slide seat here. Oh, we need to adjust that, that one's tight. There we go. So you can adjust your seating. You got some nice wake view seating for the back of the boat. Watch everybody surf, wakeboard whatever they're doing back there um flipping up our storage compartments we got the charcoal mat under there 
So nice and soft for putting your gear on. Not gonna scuff anything up. We have hinge seating with the quick pin connector. So if you pull that, you can take the whole seat out and clean it nice and easy. Got stadium seating that flips up on the starboard and port sides. Let me get my hand under there. There we go. There's your port side. Side inlays, have your cup holders, speakers. This has the Champ audio package. So you have eight interior speakers. So six in the main area, two up in the bow with a pair of Rev 10s on the tower. And there is a subwoofer back behind the kick panel on the driver's side with the vent there, as you can see. Um, walking through the rest of our interior, if we flip up the storage here, wide open room for gear underneath. They've moved the batteries under this seat. So it used to be right here. And now you've got a ton of room for gear underneath the glove box. Glove box has this nice billet backlit lid on it, which looks really nice. If we open that up, there's even a glove box light. But uh, got our owner's bag. There's some charging ports in there. Um, coming over to the dash. This is a kind of a placeholder steering wheel we have on here right now. I think the steering wheel for this boat's on back order. So this is not the steering wheel that comes with the boat. Uh, but we do have the heated driver's seat on here, the bolsters, but also has a heater outlet. So you've got the hose that pops out down behind as well as in the walkthrough. And then there's another vent at the driver's feet. On the dash, we have clamping uh, wireless phone charger, dual screens on our dash here. Got full control of your stereo, all the systems on the boat. You can toggle on and off your cruise control or zero off, whatever you want to call it. Um, we can toggle our surf system and adjust that. Here's all your ballast. So again, we've got the ram fill, which are the big tanks, the plug and plays, there's three of those in the back, belly tank and nose bag, which is under the seat cushions up front. Here's all our lighting, which I have on. And then lastly, our stereo. Um, you've got a little bit of zone control in here. And new for 2023 is EQ. So you can control your bass mid treble, which is a nice upgrade for 2023. Also has the ROV system on it. So we've got forward and rear facing cameras as well as fuel consumption data. There's also a new mirror from PTM. If I can do it here, I don't wanna break it. Can't do it one handed, but <laughs> this whole system rotates this way instead of um, the old school, like pull the pin and flip it down type setup. Um, I probably need to tighten that up so it doesn't slide when I when I do it, but nice new mirror. Walk through air dam. So all the climate features as part of the icebreaker package. And then up in the front, uh, again, you have ballast under the seats here. We option on the bow filler cushion. Uh, just make it a nice open seating area in the boat. Nice little detail up front with that Centurion logo. Uh, I didn't talk about lighting, but there's a lot of lighting through the interior. You've got kind of this runway lighting underneath the sliding seat. Um, the tower has lighting on the, uh, the downward side. So if you need to light this thing up at night, you can. Um, Centurion logos all around. That one actually we need to hook up. Um, we have the backlit logo in the back, just like we saw in the front. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it on the interior of this RI-230. Really pretty boat. Set up well, good options, equipment, all the creature comforts you want. So hit us up at N3 Boatworks if you have any questions. Reach us at 317-845-9253. Thanks for watching.